The Piscananthala National Forest spans 1.1 million acres throughout western North Carolina, offering scenic views, clean water, fresh air, recreational opportunities, homes to rare and wild species, and so much more. In the fall of 2019, we learned that during the course of our Leadership Asheville class, the U.S. Forest Service would be making critical decisions about our national forest lands just outside of Asheville. With a commitment to conservation, we decided it was both important and timely for our work to involve raising public awareness and engagement with this plan that will ultimately impact the next 15 to 20 years of how Pisgah and Nantahala forests are managed. I've lived in this area for more than eight years and I still come across views that make me stop on a daily basis and appreciate how lucky I am to live in such a beautiful area. I want to preserve that same feeling for generations to experience that same sense of awe and wonder. I also love that I can be out on many different hiking trails, be at a campsite, that my husband and my sons can be out fly fishing in a stream in a matter of minutes. It truly does feel like the forest is our backyard. We joined forces with the local nonprofit Forest Keeper to drive public engagement with a focus on their campaign to protect the Craggy Mountains. Craggy and Big Ivy section of the Pisgah Nantahala Forest is only 15 miles from our homes in Asheville. Our hope is to see the entire Craggy Big Ivy section of Pisgah National Forest permanently protected. I'm standing here in the Pisgah National Forest. I'm actually close to Asheville. I'm only a few miles outside of the city limits. And I'm in the stream here, I'm in the waters, because this is one of our favorite places to come. It's close enough from town that we can get away, yet remote enough that we can get away from everything, cars, traffic, all that. We're close enough so we can really take in nature's beauty. And this is a wonderful place. My wife and I take our girls hiking here most chances that we get. We love the forest and we love the stream and it's important for us to be able to have a clean waterway for generations to come. The Craggy and Big Ivy sections of Pisgah National Forest is a really unique place. It houses over 4,000 acres of old growth forest, is home to countless rare and endemic species that are seen only in Southern Appalachia. And to me, one of the most unifying parts of why we should protect Big Ivy and Craggy permanently is for the water resources that support so many people's homes, wells, springs. Its pristine headwaters are part of the protected watershed of the Ivy River, an important tributary of the French Broad and a drinking water source for Weaverville and surrounding rural communities. It is home to some of the wildest and most important recreation conservation lands in the country, including protecting the Mountains to Sea Trail. I've spent a lot of time throughout the years of being in Asheville for over 20 years doing a lot of mountain biking, so I love mountain biking. And what do you love most about being in the forest, Dane? Um, I really like all of the interesting plants and animals. Nice. How about you, Dylan? Do you like waterfalls? And how about you, Mom? Oh, I love the calm and the tranquility that you can find in nature. Our Western North Carolina economy, largely based on tourism and recreation, depends on places such as Big Ivy and Craggy to draw visitors and keep them coming back to enjoy every season. From waterfalls to wildflowers to autumn foliage, there is always something guaranteed to stop you in your tracks and remind you what a treasure these forests are. The Forest is managed by the uh, Department of Agriculture and that is, it's important to say that because the forest is seen as an agricultural product and the more we can protect and the more that we can uh, responsibly use the, uh, the natural resource that is in our own backyard, uh, the better we will be able to protect it for future generations and be able to have uh, clean air and clean water, a real um, impact on our climate. Every ecosystem plays an important part in this environment. Rather it's home for wildlife, or rather it's just home to soothe our souls. That's why it's important for us to preserve and protect it now.
conserving this land, these mountains, that we're lucky to enjoy, need to be a priority for us, so that we're not the only ones that enjoy them, but future generations can too. Having to develop arguments in favor of deeper, lasting forest protection, particularly in these days of climate awareness, seems unnecessary. We know that intact forests are critically important for mitigating climate change, maintaining water supplies, safeguarding biodiversity, and even protecting human health. The need for ongoing, and in some places permanent, forest protection is a given. I don't think we should have to say why these lands will be preserved any more than we should have to argue for cleaner air and water, but we do. So I hope you too will speak up and ask the U.S. Forest Service to protect these wild places.